Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and today three of us in the Pro Tools Expert team are going to be playing with Avid's new cloud collaboration feature in Pro Tools 12.5. So me and my wife have been working on a song lately here in our studio in Kent, and we're going to collaborate that with James Ivey, whose studio is in South London. He's going to be laying some drums down for us, and then the song's going to go to Russ Hughes, he's over in Ireland, so that he can put some more tracks down on it. So what I'm going to do now is jump into Pro Tools to show you guys how we set this up. So I've just launched Pro Tools and you'll probably notice a few things that are different here on the dashboard. At the top right we have sign in here. I've already signed in as Dan PTE. Now projects are the new format for cloud collaboration. Whereas before we would have sessions, these being recorded to our hard drive, now we have projects for the cloud. So let me start by creating a project. I'm going to call this PTE Collab. Create. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I am going to import a session that I've been working on. And I'm going to do this in the familiar way of using import session data with the tempo map and the marker locations also selected. Now, this has now imported into our cloud project. And if I click save now, we can see at the top left in the task manager that it started the operation to push all this audio into my saved project in the cloud. So whilst it's doing that, I'm going to find James and Russ and invite them into collaborating with this project. And for this, we use the new artist chat, again, that I'm already signed in at the top here. Myself, James and Russ, we've already connected and uh, made each other friends, so to speak, in this Avid cloud. But to find new people, you can search for them under contacts, add contacts with their email addresses and names. All very simple. But for this, what I'm going to do is go to PTE Collab and I'm going to add Russ and James and I'm going to send them a little message saying song for PTE Collab. Add. Excellent. Let me give you a little sample of what we're going to be collaborating here. So it's just acoustic guitar to a click to help James lock into it. Grab your best friends and talk for an Vocal, kick drum that he can replace. Grab your best friends and talk for an age. Grab your best friends and talk for an age. Grab your best friends Some backing and vocals, mandolin, bass guitar. All standard stuff really. There's no, 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 no way. So on the left hand side you might have noticed a few additions next to the track names here. These are all part of the new collaboration controls that we now have in Pro Tools 12.5. First, I want to mention, though, that this project that I've got, it's saved under my user in the clouds. That makes me the owner of this project and that James and Russ, they will be collaborators. And I have the choice and the power to share with them what I want from this project. So I could make a simple two bus mix and just share that or I could, as I'm going to be doing here, sharing the entire session, all tracks, so that they can sort of manipulate it and mash it up how they wish, especially for someone like James who's going to be recording drums. This is going to make it very easy for him to get some good levels in his ears. So back over to these controls and you see a very familiar little logo here. This is for sharing tracks and I've already shared every single track that's in this project. And when I've got my name next to it, as you can see here, Dan PTE, it means that I'm the owner of that track and I can do that for each of these. So now you've seen that I've set all this up in the sharing and I've invited Russ and James to participate in the collaboration. With any luck, what you see on the screen here with track markers, tempo, all the clips and how the mix window looks, this should all load up exactly how you see it over in James's studio. So with that, I'm going to load up the artist chat and James, it's over to you. Hi everyone, it's James here and thanks to Dan for sending me over this project. So let's dive over into Pro Tools so you can see exactly what we have to do to be able to open up this project and then lay some drums down on it. So let's open up Pro Tools and we have to sign in and I'm going to go to Projects. Projects list is empty. Let's open up Artist Chat and I can see here James is over to you. So hopefully there is a notification in there somewhere. So we've accepted it. So now, hopefully, open project, there it is. Open it up. Now, at this stage, it's telling me that Dan is using Renaissance Vox, or RVox, on one or more of his tracks. Now, I don't have that plugin, 
but it's given me the option to rent it for the duration of this session, which is actually quite handy if this is a mixed session. But as I'm only tracking on top, I'm really not that fussed at this stage. So I'm going to hit no and the session continues to populate. Now, depending on your upload and download speed, depends how long this takes. It's a lot quicker than you would expect. They've done some very, very clever stuff on the server side of things, so it's happening much, much faster. My internet connection down here is pretty poor, and uh, so it's going pretty well. And you can see pretty quickly that the session is fairly well up to date within about five, six minutes. So I've had a listen through and I'm fairly confident that this doesn't want to be a big full-on jivey rock thrash. I'm thinking kick, snare, a bit of hat, maybe some overheads. Pro Tools is all set up and ready to go. Dan at the moment isn't seeing anything of what I'm doing. Uh, so let's lay down some drums. I've got my tracks recorded, the drums have come in okay, the mix is okay, I'm certainly happy enough with it to send it off to Dan. All I need to do now is hit this button here. There we go. Quick message to Dan. Here you go, Dan. Have some drums. Enjoy. Hi, it's Russ, and I'm going to be doing some keyboard and some additional parts. So Dan has sent this over to me. And what I want to show you is a couple of workflows I've got going on here. So I've done some parts already. And if you look here in this section, which is the collaboration section, you'll see this little marker here. And that's where you share the tracks. So what that means is if I'm doing something and I don't and I want to try something out. So I've got a couple of backing vocals here. Let me just play you in the track here. There's a bit where I, I'm, I want to give Dan an idea for some backing vocals. So where it breaks down here, I've put these vocals in. Grab the one that you love and kiss them now. Now, as you can see, I've actually not shared them. So I can mess around and do stuff until I'm ready to share this track. And once I'm ready to share it, then I hit that button. So I've got stuff done, and I've done mainly the kind of additional keyboard parts and some percussion. So I've, if I play you the track through from here... There's no, 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 no way. So there's a shaker in there. A tambourine. Then I come in mainly in the second verse. If we come into here, no, 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 no way. so I've got two accordions, low and top hand, And then further down here, I've put a cello in as well, which comes in. So if I play you the cello. No, no. No, no, no. Now the thing is, the cello is using structure free, but it's using a library that Dan won't have. So what I need to do is I need to commit that track. So when he gets it at the other end, he doesn't have to go looking for that library. Also, I'm using stylus to do the percussion parts here. You can see that they're stylus parts and they're here. And if I play no, them. No, no, no. They're there doing percussion. And there's the actual tambourine part. That's coming through an auxiliary channel because I've busted it out. So what I want to do is I want to take the shaker and the tambourine and the cello. In fact, then I want to commit them. So what I want to do is come here and I want to commit that track as the cello. And it says what do I want to do? I want to consolidate the clip. I want it to be one long clip. And I'm going to commit the selected track. What do I do afterwards? I do nothing for now. So I press OK. So it can hide the MIDI if I want to as well. So my cello part is now there as audio. Now I want to do the same thing here with the shaker and the tambourine. And I'm going to go commit. Press OK. 
Now it's smart enough to know that if I'm using a, a, a virtual instrument that's got auxiliary output stems, in the case of this tambourine, then it's going to render that as well. So let me just render that too. So as you can see now, you can see I've got my shaker and my tambourine and my cello all rendered. So what I can do as well now is I'm going to hide that track and I'm going to hide all of this percussion that I've created. So it's just hidden, it's just to make it just neater. So they're now playing. No, 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 no. The reason I don't have to hide the accordion is he's got expand to and it's part of the library. I've just used the French tango organ uh, to, to do. No. So if he wants to modify those MIDI parts, he can do that. So all those parts now are ready to go up. And as I say, so I've done two backing vocals. I've done this. So what I do now is I make sure that all of this stuff is shareable. And that as well. And that as well. And that as well. I've also got auto sharing on here as well. So if I want to, I just, if there's stuff that needs to get back up to, to Dan, it's automatically uploading the changes. And so basically I've done what I need to do now. Also I can own it. So that says that Russ owns all of these. So I'm just selecting these. I'm basically taking ownership of them for now. That says I'm working on them. Then if I start messing with anything, such as this, this, all, this accordion here, I can just move that for a second. You'll see there, there was a, a quick upload took place as I did some modifications. Also modify the end of this cello, put a fade in. Now, it's already uploading stuff as I'm going, so often when you do this, it's pretty fast. You hardly notice it going, so if I delete out the audio there, for example, because I did that as one rendered track, I take that out. I could do things like that. Uh, that's the kind of stuff you do when you tidy up for mixing. So I've now sent all that stuff up to Dan. He's got the MIDI tracks, and he's got the vocal parts as well. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly jump into chat. Here's the collaboration. You see he's got some changes gone in there with the dates. I'm also going to say, hey Dan, I've created some BV ideas. So now I've done my work, it's back to Dan. Thanks Russ and thanks James. So I've opened up the Pro Tools projects here and all appears to be well. We've got Russ's accordion parts at the bottom here, his audio stems for the percussion that he put in and the cello at the bottom. At the top we've got James's drums which looks like Russ has been doing some time aligning for us. Anyway let's just round up the whole experience here. I think we've found this a very very simple workflow. It's been great that we've been able to do all of this within Pro Tools. We haven't used any external cloud services or messenger services. We've just done it all within the Pro Tools 12.5 software, which is great. For me, this feels like as big a move forwards as 64-bit was for Pro Tools 11. This new cloud collaboration feature has just opened up my studio to my mates that I can trust musically to put brilliant parts down in my music you know, without really any effort at all. There's going to be lots of different ways of sort of collaborating your music within Pro Tools 12.5. We've just shown you a handful of ways here. But over time, we're going to discover better ways to share our music within Pro Tools 12.5. So let's all work together and find the best ways of working with each other. On behalf of the Pro Tools expert team, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.